<laughs> Previously on Star Trek Voyager. What up, Chell? Bro, you're getting Borgified. Are you a Cardassian? That's the Starfleet way. If you disagree with something, shoot it. I told you. Uh, holodeck simulation. What's I supposed to do? Tuvok is pissed. Mr. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. Boom. You have failed. Damn, you just got Kobayashi Maru'd, man. Someday, Mr. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Boom, Kobayashi Maru. Personal, Kobayashi Maru. Wow, look at the cinematic quality. Seven. Status. Chainway. Captain, we have reports of secondary ETS that Mr. Kim. Warp drive is Tom Paris. And of course, Monroe, everybody's favorite. The, the crimson something that the doctor just made up. Ooh. Oh no. I think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift. Like y'all are pretty good at triangular. Ooh, late title card. Okay, they're trying to do something here. Ah! Let's go. Let's do the let's do the full Voyager title sequence. Let's do it. Ensign Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down yes. to engineering and help Alana seal that leak. You got it, Captain. Hey, Chicote. <laughs> Chicote. <laughs> Where's engineering? Commander. Yes, Ensign. Commander. I'm sorry, Ensign. I don't Tuvok, have time to talk right put now. Put Ensign Monroe in the break. <laughs> Tuvok, no. Tuvok, no. No, Tuvok. Fine. Any casualties? Almost. Oh no. I couldn't, I couldn't deactivate it. I guess there's the casualty now. There isn't much time before we lose containment and have to reject the core. Dilithium matrix decoupled. Whew. Core offline. Core breach. Monroe is the hero today. Despite killing a crewman, I saved the ship. Good job, Ensign. We're being invaded by some kind of pirates. They're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. <laughs> Tuvok to bridge. The intruders have been repelled. Well done. It seems our situation is worse than we thought, Tuvok. Report to the conference room. Acknowledged. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. I don't like that guy. Beesman. In the equipment room. Gear up, then report to transporter room one. Dismissed. Real class, class clown kind of vibes. Bro, we don't need that. We're stranded out in space. We're trying to survive. Get your jokes out of here. Visit the equipment room and pick up your weapons for the mission. Proceed to the transporter room with your team and beam out to away mission. Yeah, what the hell is this room? I don't think we've ever seen this room before. 
I guess it makes sense that there is a place where Tuvok would brief all security personnel. Aside from just intercoms and you know, look at that movement. And uh and like the actual meeting room. I guess it makes sense. Oh yeah, I've never seen this either. Or a locker room. I'm surprised they managed to survive this. I wonder where their ship is. I can open mine up, but there's nothing here. Tells you. Hey Alex, nervous about the mission? We'll do fine, I'm sure. Nah. I I appreciate your confidence. Chell, what's up? Chell, I sure hope they're right about that ship being abandoned. Yeah. No, don't count on it. Just doing a random security check, making sure everybody's locked up. Odell. Beesman, close your locker for the last time. What's up? I don't know, Alex. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm on that mission and I am mission critical. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Deck four, section 12, hazard operations, transporter room, has ops lounge, current position, equipment room, has ops briefing room. Okay, well, I gotta go to the equipment room also. There's a holodeck there. But first, well, so transporter room is right through there. But I wanna see the lounge. Should be right here. Well, I gotta head out. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm been been shut the fuck on up. our first mission. <laughs> an intelligence <laughs> gathering mission too. Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> You're gonna die first. Beesman, I'm gonna block your pathing, so you can't actually go on this mission. <laughs> You're going to die on here from starvation because you're going to be trapped walking this path for the rest of your life. And if I have to die for that to happen, so be it. Rick. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Rick. What's your problem, Monroe? Hey. What's your problem, Monroe? Hey. What's your problem, Monroe? All right, get out of here. Good luck, Monroe. My bro. Thanks. Ken. Hey, Monroe, what's up? What's up? Bro, the lighting on your face is out of control. Mr. Rod, while we have some extra time, I thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I am well prepared. I did go through extensive training and testing for this position. Just of course. dropping. Well, let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre-mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. What's up, Doc? Excuse me. Don't you have something to shoot at? Damn, Doc, we're all Starfleet. I don't know where you're getting that attitude from. I could use a top up on health. Doctor, seriously, Ensign. I'm beginning to think you're a hypochondriac. Excuse me. Yes, Ensign. Please heal me. Doctor, seriously, Ensign. I'm beginning to think you're a hypochondriac. Ma'am. Excuse me. I must say I was surprised that I was not selected for this mission. I know the ship is supposed to be deserted. I just hope they don't end up needing a medic. Uh, I'm going to just check to make sure they don't have uh, subtitles, which it looks like they do not.
Light flares. Wow. Sync every frame. Interesting. Dynamic lights. Better believe it. Wall marks. Wow. Oh, they do have subtitles. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. What is that face you're making at me? Michael. Yeah. Okay, so they don't subtitle my voice. Jeff. Hey. That was fast. But better than nothing. Hey. Hey, Monroe. Good luck. I'm sure everything will go fine. Oh, thanks, bud. You're a real homie. Hey. What's up? Liz. Need something, Monroe? Liz, I'm just I'm just chatting. Liz. Need something, Monroe? Damn. Okay. Uh, Alright. Enough with the lounge. Bring on. Ball lap. Okay. Tuvok's probably pretty pissed at me that I'm taking so long. Okay. Going off to the right. I don't know what that green circle is. But I'm just going to check all these first. Ah, turbo lift. Weapons. Looks like I just have to take whatever is left over because I'm so late. Oviedo, come back later if you want. No subtitles on that, huh? Scavenger rifle, compression rifle. Those scavenger guns might come in handy. They used a lithium crystal chips for a power source. Most ships use those crystals, so you should be able to find more to power the gun. The second trigger on it fires the energy grenades. Ooh. Be careful with those. If you want, you can test out your weapons in the holodeck here behind me. Don't mind if I do. Boing, boing. And then I'll leave those for after I test. Foster holodeck, room. baby. Report to the transporter room. Now. Initiating program. High noon. Begin. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, I'm I'm doing some holodeck shit right now. <laughs> are, the, are the safety protocols turned off? You will notify your family. <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to die in in holodeck uh, programs. Can I not just exit? Oh, interesting. I feel like the gamma is way different on my screen versus on OBS, what's going out the stream. So it's like way darker for me.
isn't it going to take them like 40 years? 70, actually. Well, it's a 70 year journey that they make in a lot less than 70 years. They make in over the course of like five years or something. Seven years, 10 years. But yeah, it is a bit silly. How many more of these fellas we got here? Ammunition crystal. What was this? Why do I keep hearing horses? Because it's western? Excellent. Okay, they're gonna have my ass, so I need to get out of here. Bro, why, why did you lock me in? I gotta get to the, the turbo lift. For the transporter room. Energize. Oh, no! You gotta energize me too, bro. All set, Brian. Alex. What? Okay, ready to transport team two. Okay. Oh. Energize. Oh. I guess I'm standing here. Hey, what's up? Oh, I could see the I could see the out of phase bug. Locate a functioning computer terminal to extract information. All right, let's see if any of these consoles work. Look at this. I've never seen such a ship. It's almost like it's alive. Yeah. I think I found the data terminal. Just give me a minute to start the download. I think I saw an SG-1 episode about this. Don't touch those computers. I kind of like it. You would. You're a bullion. I wonder what those are. They look like fireflies. Oh, it does? Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started the download. Chell found one here, too. He's accessing it now. Nice. Sounds like we got a company. Starting download. Or we're about to. You fools. Oh, these guys. I think. Aren't these the guys that they were like harvesting? Like that one, like unethical captain was like harvesting to get them home. Foster to Monroe, are you all right? Yes, sir. I they think it might be. Stopped attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminal. Let's get out of here. There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. Move it. <laughs> Lead the way, Chell. Gross. Find your way to section 29 to meet up with Foster's team. Whoa. All right, I got point. Merlin?
You're really curious how the map ships like that sector such and such without knowing the actual designations of sections uh, for shit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What are those things? Hmm. They seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter technology. Transporters? Oh. Oh. Only one thing left to do. Walk through it. And Tuvok calls me tactless. Sometimes that's what it takes. Slows him down a little bit. Boom, a headshot. The hell? They just keep spawning there? Maybe that's the other end of a teleport. Bro, come on in. Okay, I think I gotta go through that door. That's the way to section twenty nine. Tight. Safe. You first, Chell. You hear that noise? I don't like it. Describe it. Up there, maybe? Aha. Uh -huh. It's like some alien ladder. I'm kind of a genius. I hope Bryceman dies <laughs> in this mission. Bro. Just now realizing alt attack something else. Mouse two. I was like, I don't think mouse two is doing anything. Cause I know that's supposed to be like the grenade or whatever, which probably would have helped me on that. Probably would have helped me on that uh holodeck training. know what the alt fire on this is. It's like a yellow beam? Oh wow, that depletes like a lot of ammo. Oh no, take, take me back. Take me back, there might have been like health. Oh no. 
It was health and weapon energy. Look out! You've got to take out those those heads. Damn. Sniper mode engage. Shoot your little tail. Right? Oof. Oh, you just kind of shrunk down. Sucked all the juice out of it. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, y'all gonna take care of that at all, or just leave it be? Let's go. Wait for me. No time to wait. Boing. Okay. Where are they? Chell, are you sure this is the right place? Positive. Maybe the aliens got them. Boom! Bryceman. Our scans weren't quite thorough enough. Hey, Chell! I'm gonna jump! Catch me! Stow it, crewman. Look, Monroe, Kick his ass. Deactivate the shields before we can beam out. The data we downloaded from our console indicated there are three main sources we need to hit in order to do this. Your team should be able to take out the main computer core through there. We'll take out the backup power systems up here. We'll meet up at the main power core and shut it down. Yes, sir. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Good luck, Monroe. We'll meet you at the power core. Hey, Chell, behind you. I want to feed you to these creatures. You're the sacrifice. If I didn't turn off the main computer core. What is that? I don't know, but this is a good place to shoot them from. Y'all should come back here. We can't really path back here. Sorry. Just getting used to it, you know? You're kind of caught in the crossfire. Pretty wide range gun. Boing. Okay, let's go through this space. Oh, this is where we came from. Never mind. Go through this space. Entering new area. I've got points. Okay. You wanna take lead? Go for it. Really fucked up that we just jumped onto their ship and now we're killing all of them. 
feels very unstarf. Especially depending on the timeline, depending on whether or not we know what these creatures have been going through. We have okay. Bat. Looks like another of those transporters over there. All right, let's go. Ah! No. Whoops. What happened? She just disappeared. Some kind of energy field from that pod. Hmm. There's no trace of Telsia. It's as if she was completely vaporized. There was nothing we could have done, Chell. We better get a move on, or we might be next. All right, Chell. Let's book it. That transporter down there is working now. Great. Could go through there, but I'm gonna go through the transport. Holographic projection. The computer core. Sneaking up. Question, Shell. Okay, are we here to destroy it or to turn it off? Can't shut down the core from here. The main controls are on that upper level. Okay, so we have to go through that the oh, door yeah. we found earlier. Security sequence for that door. Hold on. Oh, it must have been locked. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a different door. Than the one I was thinking of. Why did you say? I couldn't hear you over the, the the horrified screams of our enemies. I think you said you wanted to go on a shore leave. Now is not the appropriate time to talk about shore leave. Chell. I've got a mission to accomplish. Boy, you wait. Quick save. What's up here? Oh, outer space.
ready for sure. Bro, you gotta chill. Shell. It's probably, probably something around here. Don't step on that. Found it. That's really fortunate for me. What's up, bro? Safe. Checks out. Monroe to Foster. We've shut down the main computer core. Good. We just shut down the backup power systems. We're on our way to the main power core. Right. Chell and I will meet you there. You and where's Telsia? Hey, look, man. She didn't make it. It's an away mission. Understood. We'll be in the back. Throw Beastman out. In, sir. Foster. They, they must have gotten them. <laughs> Not so good for our very first away mission, huh? Keep it together, Chell. It's just you and me now, and Voyagers depending on us to get this information back to them. If we fail, everyone on that ship could end up dead. Now let's go shut down that power. I think of what Tuvok would do. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Come on, Chell, get a grip. We'll make it, Chell. We have to. Come on. I have to admit, this section has been a little bit less engaging than some of the on ship stuff but I'm still enjoying my time bro what looks like no one's home for a change yeah don't count on it shall You got it, Shell. They're mostly aggroed on me, so. Take it easy. It's his first away mission. 
If only there were some of those fireflies in here to fix this thing. Bro, look around you. Fireflies are everywhere. Oh, I didn't know you could destroy those. Vandalism. Wow, just open to the vacuum of outer space. Hey, fireflies over here, bro. What's up? What's good? Chell, it sounds like you got an idea on how to use these fireflies in a way that I do not. If you want to do something with them, then by all means. Otherwise, I'm just going to start blasting the place up. Maybe we could lure those fireflies over to the transporter to fix it. Maybe. Oh, do we have to start just destroying everything? Okay. Environmental storytelling, sort of. You're not programmed very well if you can't detect something that's more than three feet away from you. All right, Joe, let's go. Stop hiding from behind the corner. Stop being a coward. I know it's your first mission. Quick save. Here? The only way it's gonna stay open is if one of us keeps it open from here. I guess that means me. Don't worry, Chell. Yeah, probably. I'm almost out of here. Okay. But hurry. Monroe would probably just shoot it. So well, that'll fix it. Yeah, I mean that's 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 classic like late nineties, early aughts gameplay design though, you know? Like of course they're gonna make me do that. Oh I see. <laughs> Puzzle solving. You're curious how the phaser rifles have limited energy when phaser pistols regenerate. It's a great question. Um, 
I actually feel like that's kind of kind of appropriate to the show. I mean, the 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 handheld phaser pistol uh, seems to generate its own energy source in the show. Phaser rifle we don't see too much except for in DS9 and Voyager, right? Um, and I don't really know what their energy source is. I guess I, I don't have any specific memory of them needing to be reloaded. I'm guessing it's just like it's just such a massive energy discharge compared to the phaser that it just needs something. Maybe, maybe. Hey, so could I. Maybe part of how it works is. Um, oh, that's effective. Where's Joe? He had to stay behind, but he's okay. Maybe it's like a Gatlin gun, and that you were all killed. It's propelling some metal shrapnel. But I managed to get away. Now we've got to move on if we're going to salvage this mission at all. All right, bet. Um, the only times they really use it, and, and the movies, yeah, they do use it in the movies. The, the only times they really use it and then stop using it is when something like shields make them ineffective. Yeah. I don't know. Don't get in front of me. I've got a very dangerous gun. Don't stand in front of me, bud. Hey, Monroe, hurry up! I thought I heard something down here. Oh yeah, Chell. Forgot about him. Even though we were just talking about him. Oh, that's kind of cool. This place looks like some kind of stasis pods. The aliens must have a hibernation system. Hopping. Hello. Yo. Might just be where they go to sleep. Telsia. Beesman. They're all here. Green. They must still be alive. Maybe they're being kept for food. We Maybe. need to get them out of there. Right. We just have to shut down the power core. Then we can beam them all out of here. Maybe the doctor can do something for them if it's not too late. Come on. Maybe they're being healed by the aliens because the aliens have better morality than us. Maybe. Also, we can leave Beesman. I don't think we need to revive him. I'm good. Actually. This is it. The power core. We've got to get up there and shut it off. Mm -hmm. So you can talk to us, huh? You are the ones who trapped us on your ship and attacked us. You invade us, believed you were the others, tried to contact you. Communication methods very different. You attacked us. You were trying to communicate? 
Are we the baddies? Like I said? Yeah, sorry for murdering like some of your people. We were on the like three hundred people. Kill? Have not killed. When injured, our people returned to stasis, regenerated. Hmm. Your people too, not killed, in stasis, analyzed. That's convenient. On behalf of my people, I apologize. We thought the vessel was abandoned. We only wanted information from your computer. We're trying to find our way out of here. Our knowledge is yours. Request and receive. We are allies. We will Boom. We may return. Diplomacy. We'll find a way out of here. We'll get to you. Now it's feeling like Star Trek. Lieutenant. Making friends. Your voice. <laughs> what happened over there? I'll explain when we get back. Let's just say we've made an ally. But we have injuries. We need to beam directly to Sydney. Stand by. Bro, they're in stasis. Chell, chill out. Chell is freaking. We're ready to beam you back now. Acknowledged. Lost her up. Back on the ship. Pretty bad out there for a while, but we got the job done. Have the doctor look at you and then join me in hazard ops. I'll be assembling the rest of the team for debriefing. You got it. Yes, sir. I don't care if your hemorrhoids are chronic. There are no medical deferments. What were those things? Chill, you good? Hey. Sorry, sir. I'm kind of busy. I'm busy doing what? Looking at looking at Beesman? Bro, let me get my phaser out right now. I swear to God, I will end you, Beesman. Doctor. Doctor? Ah, Mr. Monroe. Doctor? Your injuries seem to be rather superficial. Dermal regeneration Thanks. will not be necessary. Though you have some mild skin irritation. Perhaps you would like an analgesic cream? I would love that, uh, Doc. Whatever. Hypo sprites. Hell yeah. Okay, now get out of the way. Doc. <laughs> Doc, please. <laughs> no, you've trapped me further. Neck injury. <laughs> Cranial bruising. <laughs> No, no. Get a concussion. Man, they sure knocked us around over there. Beesman. Not the time. Tom. Mild burns. What? Want more cream? You'll need yeah, an inflammatory agent for that muscle strain. Uh, what's your name? Te I think I'll Tesla? Right, Alex. All right. Tulsa? Tesla? Yo, what? What is going on with this screen? I'm seeing the Matrix over here. Damn. You gonna read that, Doc? Hey, Doc's quarters. Hell yeah. And we really don't see this room too much. We really only see, like, this area of this room. I feel like we don't really get to see anything over here. Hey. Sorry, don't have time for chit chat. I've never seen this room. No idea what is going on here. Huh. 
Yeah, we do get like a couple scenes like right here, but it's pretty uncommon. We do, however, see kind of this area just as people are like walking through. Hey, Monroe. Hey, what up? Excuse me. What? Did you just finger guns me? Hey, Monroe. It seems against protocol to have these force fields up all the time, but hey, you know. So it goes. Oh. Deck four, hazard operations. Beetle. Whoa, what the hell is this? Sorry, I'm kind of busy here. Damn, nobody got time for me. Is this like a, is this like a replicator? Why would you have a replicator over on the side of the transporter room? Yeah, also I feel like this is not accurate to the ship. Anything from like here over that direction is not real. It's just like yeah, it's it's definitely just like a solid wall right here. Watch it. Bro, sick mustache. I'm digging the look. This looks kinda like a Millennium Falcon. See that? Let's go to the lounge. Damn, empty lounge. You think you had it tough. Try being a Betazoid on Vulcan where any hint of emotion is frowned upon. Hey, Alex. Just hey, Chang. And I don't Excuse remember your name. <laughs> How Shut up, Neelix. Cobbler. Delicious, thank you. Mr. Chang, your carnalip stew? Great, thanks. You know, you really didn't have to hand make all this for us. Oh, I didn't. I use the replicator. Because you're on duty doesn't mean you should be forced to eat replicator rations. Thank you, Neelix. Neelix, I got my eye on you. Austin. What? Gerard. Can I help you? My Starfleet hit list. Beesman. Neelix. And if for some godforsaken reason we run into two Vicks, two Vicks gets pushed up to number one. What's up, crew? I still can't believe we were all nearly killed last time. Yeah, they missed us up pretty good. Yeah, it was fine. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't have all the information. Hey, Monroe. Alex, did you hear anything about where they're sending us next? Hell no. I heard and Tuvok talking about the scavengers. Oh, yeah? I ran into Kim. He was going over the data we brought back. He says they had some data on that machine that brought us here. Hey, Monroe. Word has it I'll be coming along on the next mission. Some kind of stealth operation. Okay, sneaking mission. Chicote, speak up. Port to where? With the briefing room. Team retrieved, we've been able to learn a few things about our situation. This is called the Forge. It's generating the dampening field that keeps Voyager and the other ships trapped here. Do we have any idea what's running that thing, or why it's here? No, the Ethereans had no detailed information about it. For all we know, it could be a simple machine. But our main concern right now is finding a way out of here. This is Isodesium, a rare isotope that doesn't seem to be affected by the dampening field. It's a good name. Alana thinks she can use it to get repairs done and bring main power back online. Then, hopefully, Voyager can escape. 
The sensor info from the Ethereans shows that there is isodesium nearby. Yeah, we gotta save the Ethereums as well. It's located here. I can't tell what you're pointing at. The scavenger's base of operations. These are the scavengers. A loose alliance of survivors from the other starships trapped here. They survive by raiding other ships for supplies, like their attack on Voyager earlier. The isodesium was most likely stolen from other ships. Looks the like Herogen. But most of it is scattered around their base. They probably don't know of its energy potential. It's imperative that we get the Oh, no sweat. Thanks for dropping by, man. Again. We don't know what other surprises we'll encounter here or what that forge has in store for us. Rick. Yeah? Rick. What's your problem, Monroe? Hey. What's your problem, Monroe? Hey. 